Good day and welcome back to the Student Starcraft AI Tournament Finals for 2015. To start off the day, we have got our most excellent um, killer bot by Marion Diefecker. And at the other end of the spectrum, we have got another Zerg. It's called Triple Z K Bot, or um, also known by his coder's name, Chris Cox, and he's from Australia. Marion Diefecker from Slovakia is. Um, a well-known player, has been on the scene for years and has recently come back to play his hand at updating his bot and the results so far have been astounding. So without further ado, let me explain what this is all about. This is the most beautiful game in the world, it's Starcraft Brute War from Blizzard Entertainment. has been published on uh, well, somewhere in the late autumn of 1989, uh, 98 really, 98, yeah, 1990, 1998 and has been around for quite some time. The pro scene has died off in Korea and in uh, Europe, America for what it has been, but up until recently it has been very very big in Korea indeed. And now we have got something uh, even better, we have got computers playing the game and now we can also no longer complain about all the um, APM spam that is required to play this game. The best human players need about 200 to 400 APM actions per minute to play this game and these bots, these AIs can do, uh, well let's have a look at this one Chris Cokes, uh, Triple ZK bot is now at 4000 APM and that's quite a lot. Now Killerbot is only at 187, it's more, much more efficient but of course APM is not really a requirement of this uh, game to be able to win and the Zerglings do attack but with the longer rally for Triple ZK bot will Killerbot be able to defend if he is able to, to muster enough defenses and get his speed out but I do think that on this small two-player map, these Zerglings will have a bit of a field day with all the drones. Oh dear, this is not looking good for Killerbot. And what we see here is a very aggressive opening from both players. Both go for early Zerglings, but of course Killerbot going for the extra evolution chamber with the weapons upgrade, with the speed, and that is uh, going to cost him dearly. Now, this one Zergling doesn't want to get in the fray too much because it can't possibly win against all these blue Zerglings of Triple ZK bots. Meanwhile, Triple ZK bot only mining with four drone, uh, three drones, three action, and just producing Zerglings two at a time. Now, all the forces of killer bots have been abolished, Ultimate One, and um, I don't think there is very much that can. No, there you go. That can stop this from happening. So, this is a best of five. Triple Z K bot is going to take the first game and it does so in very grand style. Killer bot, having spent 200 200 on the upgrades, is not really going too far and also interrupts me about uh, in my uh, short little speech about what this thing, this tournament is all about. But we'll get to that in the next game. But first of all, all the action is already there. Triple Z K bot takes the first game off Killer bot by Marion Diefecker and the score is now. 1-0 for Killerbot. If you are wondering at the resolution, we do play with the resolution hack. That doesn't mean that these bots can actually um, look into... Uh, have farther vision because they... Um, yep, we've got the same two and we've got Marion Diefecker with Killerbot on the left again. Chris Coates's Triple ZK bot on the right again. Uh, this is purely for uh, displaying purposes. What this is, is just two bots playing games, two AIs, artificial intelligences, and the only thing that they can see is what the units see themselves, so only um, the field of vision of this overlord is um, accessible to the coding of this bot, and they also need to mine minerals, they need to, um, they have no special powers aside from sometimes ludicrous high APM, but if they slow down the game too much by making too uh, much complex decisions or um, really abusing the APM system too much, so from I think 25k APM, 25,000 APM, the system will start slowing down and bots get um, do get punished for that, so that's something to remind you of these uh, the limitations. Otherwise they have 90 minutes to win a game of Starcraft Brute War and that is a beautiful thing to behold. Now, we've got Killerbot again going for a lot larger fleet of, fleet of drones, and Triple ZK bot is doing the same thing again with a very quick spawning pool only of that is a really a real four pool. But now making an extra drone, so perhaps this time around not going for a very aggressive four pool. 
and that is ooh, an overlord even before another before pool before another hatch that is really eco heavy so to speak and triple zk bot just going for it looks like only zerglings once again now pool only just been planted for Killerbot and uh, well, what you should know about Killerbot, it used to be very good uh, last update before um, this tournament was about two years ago. And before that, it used to either play muters or lurkers, and it used to crash a lot. Then this version doesn't crash anymore, that's very good. And that is oh, that's another drone for scouting, that is very efficient. But you need the minerals because now you can only oh, that's a pity. So these Zergons will hatch very soon. And the question is, will with this great rush distance, will this <laughs> build be more successful? And um, will Killerbot be able to stem the tide? Hasn't been scouted yet, so um, this drone scouting out the wrong position and the Overlord scouting out the wrong position as well. Now seems to be heading towards the correct base, so that is very... And here come these Zerglings already, and that is very threatening because although no, the pool isn't even ready yet, oh god, this is going to be awful. And that is uh, why you have such an aggressive um, opening, because other bots tend to be greedy, tend to do all kinds of crazy stuff, and go for speed and go for upgrades, and that you can't, you just can't do. And now these Zerglings heading towards the right base. This base having been scouted empty and this one as well, so there is only one more place to go. As far as four pool bots go, Triple ZK bot by Chris Coates is a very good bot indeed. And even bring along the drone to... Um, you know what, it does get up the ramp. And now the links for Killerbot are out as well, but there are many more links coming already for Triple ZK bot. And after that, links and more links. Oh, and even the gas now, so that's very interesting. So it's going to do something else. And by the looks of it, Killerbot is holding. It's got the better. Oh, and survives with three links. And all these links will regenerate hit points over time. This one's got four hit points, and this one three or five. And that's very impressive because more links are now coming. And with the speed and um, the attack upgrade, and although one, two, all the links die, but this one, these ones are fresh. And now it's two links against two links, and look at the economy, because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drones against only three, and that is, let me tell you, not going in the right direction for Triple ZK bar. Because, oh, and now it kills the... What are you doing? You guys should attack right now. Oh, and the drone gets in a kill as well. That's very impressive. But now, with the better economy, and soon, or well, soon, <laughs> in the course of time, in the fullness of time, um, the speed and the attack upgrade, uh, where these things will do more damage and attack and move faster, this is only going to go one way. And as these minerals pile up, because now with these buildings upgrading already, you can't really spend all that money. There will be more money left for another hatchery, and then there will be uh, more production. And I think that this um, drone is going to build another hatchery at the natural. And we all know what happens if you are up one base against an opponent which only has got three drones and is a moving zergings. I thought that Chris Cox had um, a plan B for when his four pool didn't work, but perhaps it's not really arrived yet at that moment where it's going to do that. And now you can see the speed is done. These Zerglings are moving much faster than the... Uh, where are they? These ones from um, Triple ZK bot. And oh, pardon me for having the speed down so low. This game is going to go on a little bit faster. And this is interesting to see as well because uh, these two links of Killerbots don't think they can win this fight. So they will retreat. And as soon as these other two come in the uh, proximity, they are now with four against two, they will attack again. And what is nice to see as well is that um, Chris Coax's Triple ZK but will always target the weakest thing, uh, the weakest Zergling. So that is um, very impressive. Oh, look, and oh, that is not going to go well. Uh, Triple ZK bot now having scouted the enemy with uh, superior ground forces decided to build a sunken colony. But if you've got two drones left and a sunken, this number of Zerglings with speed, with the, oh, not yet, with the plus one attack is going to grow and we've got two more hatches on the way meanwhile this hatchery is pumping zerglings full stop and as soon okay now they decide well we can take this and they are going for the sunken and the drone has been rebuilt that's very impressive 
now they retreat again, but the damage has been done. Almost 70 damage done to that um, Sun Colony and one drone badly damaged. What will this be? Another Zergling. And the Zerglings come back again, and now the Sunken is at half health. And although it's doing a fair amount of damage against these, uh, these Lings, with one base producing from here, and now, oh god, oh god, oh god, now with two hatcheries against one, and uh, three drones by now against, well, we had eight here, nine. So the economy of a uh, killer bot is now uh, thrice that of a uh, triple CK bot. This can only go one way. I do wonder though, uh, they get, uh, the links got beaten back a little bit, but this uh, sunken colony is low on health. And these two, uh, three drones can't really keep up with uh, the economy. And now we've got three hatcheries against two just pumping links. And that will be interesting to see when a killer bot is going to spring the trap and going to go all in. There goes the sunken colony and now it's all drones and two more links and no more money. So this is uh, the perseverance of killer bot. Just hang on by a hair and by the bigger map. Beating back triple ZK bot and now with the superior link production. With the superior economy and we've got more links on the way. That is a very good build if you've got the economical advantage. A bit of a gamble to turn out the first game, but now it's 1-1 and we are going to go into the third game of the semi-finals of the Student StarCraft AI Tournament 2015. As you may see, uh, we are casting these uh, games from replay because... Um, well, why not? These games have been played on a server somewhere in uh, Prague, in the Czech Republic. And now we've got a killer bot as the white zerg and triple zk bot as the green zerg. I'm going to speed up this uh, first initial stage of the game. Again we've got a little bit bigger map but uh, the scouting overlords will find each other right away. Again triple zk bot going for the very quick spawning pool and killer bot going for more and more drones so nine drones overlord. Uh, good build but again I don't know if this is going to work because here come the links and that is uh, well that's one of the the topics I'm going to talk about today because uh, as far as brute war AIs go oh, that is very nice but uh, two against one you won't win that first blood drawn by killerbot um, as far as bots goes you have really two options you can um, write them a fixed build order and say well just um, build a pool with your fourth drone and then build zerglings or you can say well let's try and have a look at what the enemy is doing and try to counter that now these two bots have um, ooh, and the, these links pop and perhaps together with the drones they can pull something off but they need to be really quick about it and not hang back here in the in the rear that's not going to work and triple ZK bot with the superior position and the superior micro what are these links doing it's not really good but it looks like it looks like Killerbot is beating back at losing drones. No, the drones are moving out of the way, and now with the extra zerglings, perhaps Triple Z K Bot is. Oh well, two more links are coming, and two more for. Oh, and the weapons are prayed. That is a silly thing to do because oh, and the the, the zerglings are popping at the wrong end of the stick, at the wrong end of the base, and with the help of the drones, this zergling. Oh God, no, and it dies immediately. That is not good. Uh, you don't really want to build a uh, weapons upgrade one if you're under attack like that. So, uh, what I was talking about, you've got fixed build orders. Just tell them what to do: build A, build B, build Z, and um, A move. And Killerbot seems to have won the fight once again. That is really impressive. And now it's four Zerglings against two. And uh, once you have uh, either chosen a fixed build order or an adaptive build order, it comes down to in-game decision making. So now you've got two healthy Zerglings against two sick ones, and it's all down to a well cat fight really. And this Ling will survive with uh, well seven eight HP, and will die now to these other two. And this one will run away, and only when its friend arrives, or not, or more friends arrive, will they attack. And that is in-game decision making of um, another magnitude because. As you can see, Triple ZK bot will always focus uh, the weakest uh, Zergling. And Killer Bot will not really do that. So, short term advantage for Triple ZK bot. But if you look at this now, we've got speed coming up, we've got uh, weapons coming up, and we've got um, 
an extra base coming up. So again, with the larger map, this is... Oh, and look at here, we've got the um, defensive sunken ones more. And now it's a two drone economy against, uh, well, we had eight last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time, perhaps one got killed. Uh, but with the superior links, with the plus one uh, weapons coming up, and with the speed and the other base, I can't really see this going anywhere but in Killerbot's favor. And again, they go for the, the sunken colony. They don't commit. Uh, take out some HP, but not really enough. But as soon as this uh, hatchery finishes, I do think first we're going to see one drone. And I'm um, speeding it up just a little bit because nothing really much is happening. And there we go. No, once more, once more back. Another hatchery, and yep, yeah, one drone. Now with the plus one weapons and the speed. And this uh, sunken is all that stands between the growing number of um, wild zergans of killer bots and these uh, well, three drones. One has been rebuilt uh, from Triple C Cable. And there we go, and here goes the sun. No, it survives, it will live another day, but uh, no, four is not enough. But with a third coming, another drone that is not really going anywhere. These three drones are doing what they can, but in the end it's not going to work. These two <laughs> Zerglings, they, they should hang back, and there we go. There goes the Sanctum, there go all the drones, and then it's only two buildings defenseless against these um, in-streaming Zerglings of Killerbot. So Killerbot about to take the 2-1 lead over Triple C Kbot, speeding it up just a little bit again. And there goes the last building. Of course, some of these bots can type the GG, they can surrender. Uh, I don't think either of these two does. So I'm just going to call it and say GG, replay has finished. Killerbot takes the lead over Triple Z K bar 2 to 1. As you might have seen, we've got a lot of replays today. And this is the fourth. And. Uh, Okay, so that was uh, <laughs> that really was the um, semi-finals. It seems it wasn't the best of five after all. It was just a best of uh, three, and Killerbot moves on to the finals, two-one over Triple Z Cable. Triple Z Cable will play the third and fourth place match. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I am. Uh, I'll be right back with the other semi-finals. Thank you for watching and goodbye.